Hello mates, welcome back. I've shot this video already, I'm still having problems with these damn microphones. <laughs> it's driving me mad, if I'm not already. Right, I'm down on Pier Road. It's a beautiful day, the sun's shining, but it's as cold as a cold thing. That's what it is, cold as a cold thing. Um, so, right, what we got today, I'm going to review this one. Spoiler alert, I absolutely love this stuff. This is Viking Dark, the Viking Dark. Absolutely glorious. I haven't got a snuff anchor. it. I haven't got anything. Honestly, mates, you're going to love this. Oh, I love the smell of ammonia in the morning. <laughs> I know some people don't like ammonia, but I do. So I'm going to do, this might be a little bit longer today, this video, because I'm going to try and just include a little bit snippets of Whitby, bits and pieces. And I'm going to have a walk down and show you the, uh, the bridge and the famous polar bear. I don't know whether you've ever heard of the polar bear in Whitby. And I'll tell you all about that. Um, I've been busy this morning. I've been cleaning the cottage. I've had my hand out bogs, cleaning toilets out. And I think, yeah, I think I've had a hole in my rubber glove. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to have a walk down to the bridge, film the bridge, and then we'll do a full review of the Viking Dark. And I'll tell you, it is absolutely ging gang ghoulie. So I'll see you down there in a minute, see if I can stop this video. Right, here we are. We're at, uh, we're at Kiddies Corner. Uh, and we're looking at Whitby's famous swing bridge. There you go. Uh, it was built in 1908. And it's been here ever since. <laughs> I love my gags. Yeah, it's uh, it's forever breaking down, but you know it does a job. It's been here long enough. No doubt it'll need replacing someday. But uh, I hope they don't lump that on the council tax when that needs rebuilding. There's a dolphin pub over there. If you look over there, that red brick building. See the white building to the right of it, the red, uh, red brick building, that's where Captain Cook used to live, Captain Cook Museum now. So let's have a little wonder down here. As I say, the bridge, uh, bridge was uh, actually opened, built and opened in 1908. Well, it won't have been built, will it? It was opened in 1908 and it's, uh, yeah, it served the town well. You can see a couple of uh, fishing lines here at Kiddies Corner. They've abandoned the fishing lines and the fishing bucket, but anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a quick look at the bridge. Let's have a wander up and I'll show you. We'll have a walk over the bridge and I'll show you a little bit more about it. See you in a minute. So this is the hut. Uh, it's manned. It's uh, uh, two man, two people man the, uh, the hut, the bridge. Uh, two hours either side of high tide, which are always posted on this chalkboard here. And uh, let's have a walk over the bridge. Now, there's not many people in town at the moment, so it's pretty quiet. There's hardly anybody on the bridge. Believe me, in the summer, they close the road and they are walking shoulder to shoulder down here. Unbelievable the amount of tourists we're getting. So, told you about North Sea. That's where uh, the piers are. You might have seen from the other videos, the piers down there, the lifeboat. So that's coming in from the North Sea. They come down here onto the River Esk, under the bridge, and then uh, down to Whitby Marina, and uh, yeah, park all shipyard. See, so, yeah, there's a, a trawler in build at the moment. It's, uh, it's absolutely a sight for sore eyes when they launch one of the new uh, new trawlers. I'll try and get a video of that some stage. As I said, there's a, uh, the Dolphin Pub, bit of a tourist trap really, but a bit pricey for my liking. I can't afford to drink in there, me being on a pension and all of that. But, uh, you know, I don't want to be crying poor tail all the time, do I? <laughs> You know, I go to Fisherman's. I think it's uh, two pound forty for a pint of lager. Not bad, is it? Two pound forty. Can you imagine? And here we are. We're, we're getting to the end of the bridge, and you can probably just see on the top of Holland and Barrett, and there is a polar bear. Yes, a polar bear. You see that? And we thought we were going to snow. We aren't at Yeah. Sorry, there's tourists all over it shop again. Speak of the do Anyway, there's a, yeah, polar bear up there. Now, the story goes, Captain Scolby, who was the captain of a whaler uh, ship. Let's see if I can this up a little bit further. Uh, on one of his ex expeditions, he found a polar bear cub and brought it back with him. And he tethered it here, just outside Holland and Barrett's. 
Now I guess it wasn't Holland and Barrett at the time. <laughs> but one day it, uh, it got free and it started to eat some of the locals. So they captured it and they packed it off to uh, London Tower Zoo and uh, it uh, lived out the rest of its days in London Tower Zoo so that's the story I know the picture's pretty rubbish but I'll see whether I can get a closer and that's the, uh, the story of Whitby's polar bear and Captain Scalby let's uh, get the camera up there see if we can get a closer for it Right, we're back at Bandstand. Absolutely freezing, but it is a nice day. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the look at the bridge and the uh, yeah the polar bear. <laughs> I tried getting a picture of it, but it's not right good. Anyway, we've got a tin of this, as I told you. Honestly, mates, if you've never tried this one, you have gotta give it a go. It is a top banana. Spoiler alert. Let's get stuck in, eh? Look at this. Sun's out, so I might be able to give you a decent shot of that. Have you got it? Look at that. What a lovely day. Just been speaking to Mrs M. She seems fine. She's pampering herself this morning. I never get pampered, but she's pampering herself. <laughs> Ammonia straight out the tin. Lovely and fresh. Beautiful colour. Look at that. Look at that, mate. Try and keep in shot, Simon. Uh, no toppings in this. It's a, a coarsest grind, belting vitamin N, and you get this smokiness, this dark fired base flower smokiness coming off it. Get it up there, and then you get this delayed burn coming through. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that burn's coming on now. Oh, banging vitamin N. Absolutely glorious. Oh, let's have another two of that one. This is, it's to, I've loved all the, the Viking snuffs, to be honest with you. The tradition, classy is what I call them. It's classy. It reeks a tradition. How things used to be, how things should be, in my opinion, yes. <laughs> See how forceful I am. That's what Mrs M likes about me, you know. <laughs> Anyway, we've got Viking Dark. My screen's gone dead. I've got another GoPro. This is new one. I, I, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing with it. And microphone. Oh, hey up, hey up, hey up. Try this, mates. Honestly, the Viking, the Viking Dark. It's to die for. It's no fuss. It's simple. It's uncomplicated. It's absolutely gingangooly gorgeous. The Viking. Viking Dark. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, tune in. I'll have another video up on Sunday. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Keep well. Chin, chin.